How's it going, Beale the Gang? I'm James, and last week I practiced for a thousand minutes on live stream to honor two set violin making 1,000 videos. This all started more than five months ago when I saw this Reddit post. I commented, What if I did a live stream and practiced for 16 hours straight? I received two upvotes, one of which was from myself. I forgot about all of this until a few weeks ago when I saw that they were actually very close to hitting 1,000 videos, and I thought to myself, After all, why not? Why shouldn't I practice 1,000 minutes? And a few weeks later, there I was at 9.40 a.m. on a Tuesday morning, awkwardly greeting the three people that joined to watch me do long tones. I felt pretty weird to be doing my technique practice in front of an audience, but I was getting a lot more views than I expected, and everyone was being really nice, even when I was chugging through a Kreutzer etude. I did some Bach for a while, and then some Schumann, and the stream was going pretty well. I had about 50 people watching. But then, disaster struck. I looked up at my phone to see that YouTube had crashed, ending my stream and leaving my audience hanging. But I couldn't stop there. I wouldn't let my aging iPhone 7 stop me from reaching my dreams. And so, I restarted the stream and a few people came back. Unfortunately, the algorithm was already ruined. My lunch break was soon after this and I ended up hurriedly scarfing down a cheese stick in a cliff bar while a dwindling 20 people watched. And so, my practice session continued. I started to get tired at about four and a half hours in, but the fact that I was more than halfway done motivated me to keep going. In the late afternoon, I started working on the Allegory of the Cave, which is very difficult, and I was playing a few wrong notes. The composer of that has perfect pitch, and she happens to be hanging out around my dorm. Yeah, this is A natural, and then this is F sharp. And this is still F sharp until there. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry to be very nitpicky. No, 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 that, I just... that's, that's good. I what happened it. to the street? It's still going. It's still going. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, <laughs> Viola gang. <laughs> Around six and a half hours in, my left arm was starting to get pretty tired, but I did cross country in high school, so I have hard earned steel mental resistance. Also, the people in the chat were being very encouraging. They even reminded me to drink water. In the final hour, I was very tired of standing. Evidently, I wasn't the only one. <laughs> my stand just collapsed. My stand is, is giving out before I do. And finally, the moment arrived when I could stop practicing for the nights. Just to be clear, I don't recommend that you push yourself to keep practicing when you're super exhausted like I was. I'm used to playing five to six hours today anyways, so eight hours wasn't too much of a stretch for me. I spent the rest of the evening binging Attack on Titan Season 1 with a sore arm, tired legs, and a sense of pride in my heart. The next morning when I woke up, my arm actually felt all better, so I was feeling optimistic. Unfortunately, that day I actually had an hour and a half of piano trio rehearsal before I could start my second eight hour practice session. But I figured that as long as my live stream didn't shut down today, everything would be just fine. And so of course, an hour into it, my old iPhone 7 overheated and shut down. And so, I continued the stream on my iPad instead. The rest of the afternoon went quite well. I practiced my entire box suite and had a pleasant Q&A over lunch with my chat. I felt like a real viola game community was starting to develop. And this was when the memes started. First, someone misspelled Viola Gang as Viola Gong, and then people just started spamming it. I guess it's a thing now? Then someone said I looked like Harry Potter if Harry Potter was sold at the dollar store. I mean, that's not the first time that my resemblance to Harry Potter has been recognized. How many people each day tell you you look like Harry Potter? <laughs> when I brush my hair, I can even get to Shostakovich level. Anyways, later on, my friend Kyle barged into my room and started to lie. Who is it? Yo, I've got your violin if you're ever done pretending to play viola. My violin? Yeah. What do you- <laughs> Hey! <laughs> what? Don't give away my secrets. Just to be clear, I am not secretly a violinist. I'm actually, really, truly a violist. And Kyle was just lying for some reason. I think he must be crazy. Later on, I was strangely less physically exhausted than I had been the day before, but much more mentally exhausted. The other problem was that I was using my iPad to stream, and I had some of my repertoire on my iPad, and so I ran out of stuff to practice. This led to me taking suggestions from the chat, and so, at the very end, I was practicing Flight of the Bumblebee with a metronome. In the 
final thing I practiced after more than 16 hours was the opening of the Stamets Viola Concerto. <laughs> Time. It is time. I have officially practiced 1,000 minutes over the course of two days in honor of two set making 1,000 videos. So, what happened that I referred to in the title of this video? Well, it could be a number of things, like my stand following, gaining more than 500 subscribers in two days, or developing an awesome community of violists and memes. But the best thing was exactly what you would expect to gain from practicing nearly 17 hours. I got better at viola. The next day I had a lesson and my teacher was expecting to hear the Bach C major prelude. I walked in there and I played him the prelude, the alamans, the Quarants, both berets, and the jig, with all repeats completely by memory. And that's the power of practice. Overall, I felt like practicing on a live stream helps me to be more thoughtful and productive. I couldn't get distracted and I had to practice well because people were always watching. I had much more fun interacting with the community than I would have had just sawing away all by my lonesome. And I could also practice performing since I had an actual audience. I'm definitely going to do more practice live streams in the future and I honestly can't wait. That being said, thank you so much to everybody who tuned in and supported me along my goal of honoring two set violin. You're all awesome, and I couldn't have done it without you. I hope you enjoyed these livestream highlights, and until next time, Viola Gang, Viola King out.